Hey guys, welcome to Tech Talks by Gaurav Sharma. Have you ever asked one of your friends to pick up your child from school? Yes? Well, if you've done that, then you probably already know what SAML is. Security Assertion Markup Language. Let's talk about how they're related. So let's talk about when your friend goes to pick up your child, what happens, right? Your friend, your friend uh, goes to the school and school people uh, and says, hey, I want to you know, pick up this child. And your school people say, well, you're not the parent, so we need some sort of like an authorization note from the parent for us to release the child. So now your friend comes to you and says, hey, they're looking for an authorization note from you. So, so you provide that note to your friend and then now your friend takes that note to, to the school. The school people look at it and say, yeah, you're good, you're good to go and we're able to release a child to you. Sounds familiar? You probably have done that, right? So now let's look at how exactly it is same as SAML, right? In SAML world, there are three big components. Uh, service provider, which is the school, the client browser, which is your friend, and the identity provider, which is you or the parent, right? So as the flow goes, the client browser reaches out to the service provider to access an application. Now, the service provider or the school is looking for an authorization note from an IDP. So now, it, it tells the client browser that I need some authorization note from the IDP. So now client browser takes that request, goes to IDP or the parent and say, I need that authorization note. And in a SAML world, it's like an XML based file that gets returned as form of like an authorization node. So now the client browser or the friend has it. Now it takes that note to the service provider and after the, or after the service provider verifies that or like the school verifies the authorization note, they're able to release the child or their service provider is able to let you access the application. Does that make sense? I hope it did because when you kind of combine the real life uh, activity with the technical stuff, it registers well. So if you want to learn more about these concepts, stay tuned. Thank you.